Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam, Baba. My son, do you want to hear the stories of the prophets today? Stories of prophets? Mashallah. That sounds great. Please tell me, Baba. Inshallah. How about I tell you the story of the first prophet to live today? Do you want to hear that story? The story of the first prophet? Mashallah. Please tell me the story, Baba. <laughs> All right. Now before I start the story, let me ask you a question. This is getting very interesting. Go ahead, Baba. Ask me the question. All right. Now tell me. Do you know who was the first man to live on earth? Hmm. Can you give me a clue, please? <laughs> All right. Here are some options. Was it Adam alayhi salam, Cain or Iblis? Huh? I know the answer. It was Adam alayhi salam. Masha Allah, you are right, my son. All right. Now let me start the story. Bismillah. A long, long time ago, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the sun, the moon and the earth. After creating these, he saw that his creation was incomplete. So he asked his angels to collect clay from the earth. The obedient angels collected clay and Allah made a man-like figure with it. And the God named him Adam alayhi salam. But the figure didn't move for 40 long years. It just stood still there. When Iblis saw this figure, he was confused and scared. And after 40 long years, one day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala breathed his spirit into Adam alayhi salam. When the spirit reached the head of the figure, it sneezed. When the spirit reached his eyes, he saw all the amazing food lying around. Then the spirit reached his stomach and Adam alayhi salam felt hungry. The prophet had seen the fruits lying around. So before the spirit could even reach his legs, he jumped towards the fruits. Adam alayhi salam fell down as he couldn't move his legs. Then Allah asked all the angels including Iblis to prostrate before Adam alayhi salam as a sign of respect. One by one all the angels prostrated before the Prophet except Iblis. Iblis said that he was better than the Prophet and he was made from fire. Allah got angry with this disobedience so he banished Iblis from paradise. From that day, Iblis was called as the Shaitan and he was thrown into the hell. Shaitan was now very angry with the humans as he was banished from the paradise because of them. He vowed to take revenge by misleading the humans. Allah then taught Adam the names of every animal in paradise. The lion, the sheep, camel, elephant, dove, peacock and many many more. Allah told the Prophet that he was allowed to eat every fruit in the garden except one. God told the Prophet that he should not eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge and that it was forbidden and he spent most of his time playing with the animals in paradise. After a few years, the Prophet became lonely as there were no other humans in paradise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saw this, so he decided to give Adam a wife. That night when the Prophet was sleeping, God created the first woman. When the Prophet woke up, he was happy to see the woman. 
He then named her Hawa because she was made from something living. Both of them lived happily in paradise for a long time. Shaitan was still angry at the humans. Many years had passed by, so Shaitan knew that the Prophet must have forgotten the words of Allah. One day, he made a plan that would banish the Prophet and his wife from paradise. Shaitan came to the paradise and tricked the Prophet and his wife into eating the forbidden fruit. The Prophet and his wife unknowingly plucked the fruit and started eating it. But even before they could finish eating the fruit, they knew they had committed a grave sin. They were now filled with pain, sadness and shame. After eating the fruit of forbidden knowledge, they realized they were naked. So they ran to cover themselves up in leaves. They were now really scared as they knew Allah would punish them for their disobedience. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala came to know about this, he got angry. He got angry and the Prophet and his wife were thrown out of the paradise. The Prophet and his wife walked for a very long time and they finally settled down near a river. The Prophet knew that the life on earth was going to be very difficult. He had to make a house for them to live. He had to work hard to feed his family. They now no longer had the pleasures they enjoyed in paradise. After a few years, Hawa gave birth to twins, a boy and a girl. They named the boy Qabil. And later, Hawa gave birth to another twins, again a boy and a girl. This time they named the boy Habil. Both Habil and Qabil grew up. Qabil took to farming, working in the fields and growing crops. When Habil grew up, he became a shepherd and took care of the sheep. When Habil and Qabil grew up to become adults, the Prophet decided to get them married. Since there were no other females on earth, Prophet decided to get Qabil married to Habil's twin and Habil to Qabil's twin. Qabil's twin sister was beautiful, while Habil's sister was not that beautiful. Qabil was not happy with the arrangement and he wanted to marry his own sister. There was an argument and the Prophet decided to settle the issue by offering a sacrifice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was decided that the one whose sacrifice is accepted will marry Qabil's sister. Habil collected the best lamb from his flock and offered it as a sacrifice to Allah. But Qabil didn't want to offer the best fruits and vegetables as sacrifice. Instead, he chose the bad vegetables and grains for sacrifice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted the sacrifice of Habil but rejected the one made by Qabil. The Prophet was present when they made their sacrifices and it was decided that Habil would marry Qabil's sister. But Qabil was not at all happy. He was so angry that he wanted to kill Habil. One day Habil was late coming home and the Prophet sent Qabil to search for him. Qabil went searching for Habil and he went to the fields looking for Habil. At last he found Habil walking towards home. Qabil was still angry with Habil. Your offering was accepted but mine was not. To which Habil replied, Allah only accepts from those who fear him. Qabil was angry to hear this and he picked up a stone to hit Habil. Habil saw this and even though he was bigger and stronger than Qabil, he said, even if you stretch your hand to kill me, I will never stretch my hand to harm you because I fear Allah. This comment further angered Qabil and he struck him with the stone instantly killing him. When Qabil realized that Habil was dead, he was terrified and didn't know what to do. He didn't want his father to know what he has done. So he started thinking about ways to hide his sin.
Harbel wandered from place to place with the dead body of Harbel, trying to hide it. That was when he saw two crows fighting with each other. During the fight, one crow killed the other, and the dead one fell down. The victorious crow then scratched and dug a hole in the ground. He buried the dead crow in the hole he had dug. Then he filled the hole with mud. This gave Qabil an idea. And like the crows, he dug a hole on the ground and buried his brother's body in it. This was the first burial of a man. Qabil was ashamed of what he had done. Shaitan had won over him and he knew that he could no longer go back to his family. The Prophet knew what had happened and he mourned the loss of his son. He had lost both his sons. One was dead and the other was misled by Shaitan. He warned his other children about Shaitan and asked them to always obey the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. After a long, long time, the Prophet had many more children. The Prophet had grown old and his children loved him very much. When Adam salam realized that his death was near, he appointed Seth as the successor to his family. Time of his death, the angels came to his house and stood beside him. When the Prophet realized that the angel of death has arrived, he smiled peacefully and passed away. MashaAllah, that was such a wonderful story. Alhamdulillah, I am glad you liked this story. Now, I shall ask you a few questions to see if you remember the story. Of course, yes, go on, ask me. Hmm, now tell me the name of the first human God had created. It was Adam alayhi salam. That's great, dear. And tell me the name of his wife. It was Hawa. You've got that right. All right, now for the next question. Tell me why the Prophet was banned from the paradise. They were banned because they ate the fruit of forbidden knowledge. That's why God threw them out of the paradise. Isn't that right, Baba? That's correct, my dear. Now for the next question. Tell me the names of the Prophet's first sons. It was Kabil and Habil. Masha Allah, you are giving all the right answers, my son. Hmm, let me see if you can answer this one. What was the profession of Qabil? Hmm, he was a farmer. That's correct. And now for the last question. Whom did the Prophet appoint as the successor to his family? Oh, can you give me some clues, Baba? <laughs> all right, here are the clues. Was it Qabil, Habil or Seth? Seth. It was Seth, Baba. Isn't that right? Yes, dear. Alhamdulillah, you are such a bright boy. Now that's all for today. Insha'Allah, I will tell you another story tomorrow. Ma'asalama. Good night, Baba.